Hopefully it'll come up soon. There we go. Uh, some parts of this game may be considered violent or cr cruel. This game contains violence and gore. I'm going to assume they meant cruel and not e rule, but it's a work in progress and it's not yet ready. So that's okay. Use headphones and controller for the best experience. I will, Red Candle Games. Not because I wanted to, but because you told me to. Oh my god. Alright. Options. Um. Oh, on. Alright. Yes. Probably fine. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's fine. If it's not, I can change it later, but right now it sounds okay. All right, sounds good to me. Oh, I forgot to have my water bottle. But, um... Red King Games had a bit of platforming on their... Ooh, look at this! Looks good. Uh-oh. I'm missing an ear already. Not... Not a good start. Oh, she's talking to us. All right. I like the music. Is that part of my brain coming out? And part of my guts? That's not good. All right, I've been a little beaten up. I can see why the hero wants revenge. <laughs> I mean... It is based on, uh... I think Chinese folklore, so. Oh, that's nice. What? N a, a nice art style in my Red Candle games? Game? Aw. Anyway, in, um, Devotion, there was a bit of, um, platforming, side-scrolling in there. It was kind of fun. So, uh, big bro. All right, so this, this character is Juan Juan. So, uh, you know, it's, it's nice that their third game kind of gets away from the horror and goes elsewhere. They they actually did do a good job with all of the uh, folklore in the first two games. Um, but I always do like to see when indie developers kind of go away from the genres that they've... Not that they're known for, although I do know them for their horror genres. But when they kind of take a step away and decide to do something else, it's always really nice. Um, the Game Kitchen did that as well. The first game, the first two games was... God, what was it called? Uh-oh. The, the... 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 Secret Door. I think. It was a point-and-click adventure horror game. And then they went to their Metroidvania Blasphemous. Uh, big bro, I smelled barbecue fish all the way back there, so I knew you'd be here. Looks like you snagged a good haul of fish today. You're a true hunter. But did you forget that I'm cooking dinner today? Maybe I decided I would be nice. Maybe I didn't forget shit. Shut up, Juan Juan. You have to leave room for my carefully prepared delicacies. 
Do I? Do I actually leave room for your delicacy, Juan Juan? Um. Cook as much as you like, I'll eat it all. Look at what a little cutie I am. Yep. Okay, you've been here for ages. You must finally be getting used to the food, huh? Oh, all this talk about food. I almost forgot to ask you for a favor. It's over at the secret hideout. Follow me. A favor? Okay. All right, so X to attack, A to jump. No double jump. Um. Okay, we're good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I didn't see this. I was too busy staring at the rocks in the background. Like, that could be bad. Oh, you can... Whoa, the character uses their hands. Holy shit. It's always a shocker when a character actually uses their hands to... do something. I want to get to the skeleton. Oh, hold A to jump higher. All right, so... It doesn't seem like it's actually that much of a difference if I hold A. Um, Dead Man's Notes. Can I read them? Yes. Let's see. Uh, crooked text carved into the ground using stones. Mad. Everyone's mad. All right, so I guess there's... I'm going to assume just in the demo there's 16 things to find. Yep. Yi, a mysterious tell alchemist, and Juan Juan, a little boy that lives in the Peach Blossom Village. You know what? There, there's some English issues, but A, they're from Taiwan, and B, this is a demo. So I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Although I guess to be fair, even in the final version of... Uh, um, I'm forgetting the name of every single game I've played and enjoyed. All right, hold on. Um, what was it called? It, 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 there was, um, uh, let's, 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 let's see. I played it last year. It was called Devil Inside Us Roots of Evil. There were, there were a few English issues. <laughs> Um, but apparently that was up to the devs, even though they're very kind translator even tried to tell him this isn't right. But I think it was just mostly for dates. Anyway. Whoop. Wait, can I? Okay. I was going to try and swing on the rope, but you can't do it. This is, I like the art style. It's very lovely. Um, all right, X. All right, I already knew that. As I said, I'm a true gamer, and the second I'm put into any game, I immediately press every button. Oh. All right, so you can like go forward. What's that? I don't, what does that do? All right, I can use my hand with the uh, left button. Anyway. Over here, over here. Hey, look upwards from this angle. Remember a while back I told you about the flower I needed for the worship ceremony? I don't. It's called the Crimson Hibiscus. I'll need it during the ceremony. I might turn the music up because it's actually a little quiet. The elder says it symbolizes courage, so the larger the better. I tried phages but couldn't get up there. Big bro, do you think you could... Oh, sure. So let me get this straight. He needs this for a ceremony. It symbolizes courage. And he's having me get it. Is he that courageous? Does he really deserve it? I know he said he couldn't get it, but like, if it does truly symbolize courage, you're not courageous enough. Hey, wait, what the? Where'd that boar come from? Your butt?
Aw. Whoa. The dang king boar ran away with it. What a pity. But it's okay. Maybe he needed it more than I did. It's getting dark anyway. Let's get back to the village. I'll come back and look again another time. Um, those are two. I like how it's two very different ways of saying, yep, I'll get it. I'll bring it back for you. No, it's fine. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. Unless. Do you really want, want to go? You know, if I'm being honest, no. All right, then. I'll wait here for you, but be careful and don't get hurt. It's not like I have a choice in the matter. All right. All right, let's go. So far, so good. Nice. I have to say, I have to say the controls feel nice. As I said, there was a bit of platforming in Devotion, which I think now the only way you can get Devotion is if you buy it on their website, I believe, which I thought was really nice. I think it was up for like a week. It was actually getting... I was surprised by how much play it was getting on Twitch. Although, to be fair, I don't know how much play Detention got when it first came out. Um, but I remember being like really happy for them and then... Um, got taken down because apparently they made a reference that the Chinese president or the ruler or I I don't know I think it was the president I think they basically likened him to Winnie the Pooh which I don't think I remember seeing but um steam took it down everywhere took it down so bummer which made me glad I got it day one Hey. Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's not, okay. It's not actually hitting me. I feel kind of bad. Not bad enough. All right. You know what? Let, we're going to read all the lore on these things. Uh, prior to the worship ceremony, the flowers that bloom in abundance around Peach Blossom Village are picked and used for decoration. It's pretty. Alright, got it. Is there fall damage? There's not. Hey. Big bro, you're not injured, are you? That was a huge boar. Here's flowers for you. Wow, big bro, you're amazing. You really brought it back for me. Whoa, it's even bigger up close. It's magnificent. Thank you, big bro. Let's hurry back to the village. So I... Yeah, I guess I said... I was gonna say, I guess Juan found me, but we saw that. I got beat up, and I guess Juan has been taking care of me and now considers me big bro, which is sweet. I guess because I'm really nice and I help take care of him, so I'm a big bro to Juan Juan. So far, I'm really enjoying the demo, which, oh, I guess in the village, I have to wear this mask. God, I love the art style for this game. It's so nice. Wow, the market is really bustling today. Juan Juan's favorite word is wow. That's what we've gleaned from this demo. Um, but yeah, because I've enjoyed their other two games, I guess... I figured I would enjoy this game, but at the same time, I don't always want to assume that, you know, I'll love, if I love a dev, I'll love their games. Hey, Rio, how are you doing? Welcome on in on this fine, fine Saturday. It was obviously a good harvest. Everyone's brought their surplus grain to trade before the ceremony starts. We've had abundant harvests both years since you've arrived. You're now officially the lucky charm of the village. You just woke up. Did you have a good sleep? All right. I got to take off my little house shoes and uh, get comfy. I actually woke. Well, 
I was gonna say I woke up early. I woke up earlier. How's game? Gaming in general or this game? I played some Elden Ring this morning. Um, I got past a boss that was giving me a lot of issues. So, uh, I left, leveled up a bit. Got, honestly, a better staff because I'm an astrologer. And, um, I still died a few times before I finally got him. But, in general, gaming's going well. And for this game specifically, also going well. So far, really enjoying the demo. Art style's nice. I think it so far has some very calming uh, music. And I like that this is like the only character we know other than Yi, I think the main character's name was. Um, and the art style, um, when you do the story, the storybook portion of Devotion, it was also very lovely. So, you know, I'm glad they're taking the little bit, the, I don't know what word I'm thinking of, the change in gameplay, and they're putting it into this game. It's pretty great. Anyway, even though I'm a lucky charm, apparently because I'm a fox type, whatever, I uh, wear, I don't actually know why I wear this hat. I assume it's to hide the fact that I'm a fox. Especially as you helped the elders solve the mouse plague. They've been full of praise for you ever since. Hey, Dora, welcome on in. I am streaming, I know, I took a big break. I am streaming. You're waiting for the Steam Deck before you get any games. Elden Ring, well, I'll s Elden Ring is fun. And that's from me who thought I would not like it because I didn't. I think from software games are very gorgeous. And, but I just, I, I, they're very hard and like, I played Dark Souls and it was hard, but there was nothing compelling me to want to get better. But Elden Ring is fun, mainly because, yes, it's hard in a sense, but it's open world. And I feel like it's more exploration based. You know, so Elden Ring was fun. And yes, the art of this is lovely. So I'm excited. It comes out next year. Um... I'm going to assume for all consoles. I say I shouldn't assume. I know it comes out for the Switch and I know it comes out for PC. Don't know about other consoles, though. I'm grateful to the Sol, too, for blessing Peach Blossom Village with everything it needs. Oh, I almost forgot about the fish I hung out front to dry. I better rush back before they totally dry out. Yeah, what about the fish I was cooking? Juan Juan was complaining for... Or... For about the fact that he was supposed to cook and I did anyway. Also, did you order the Steam Deck and you're waiting for it or just you're waiting until you can get it to get any more games? So that you can um, probably just lounge wherever and but still play your games. Um, it seems like there's actually a lot of good games that you can play on Steam Deck, which is very exciting. Don't be home too late, big bro. All right, bye. All right, I get... Oh, I can't... I understand why I can't run around in the village. Why can't I jump? This is... You can't... Like, give me... Because the controls are actually pretty nice. Pretty tight. Pretty... In my opinion, intuitive. Right? Good controls. Didn't feel shaky, didn't feel a little wobbly, um, not wobbly, loose. I should say loose. Um, every now and again, I run into a platformer where the controls should be tight, but they're not. Jump. Apparently. Okay. Toiling in the day, resting in the night, every day is full of delight. All right, I didn't ask. Hi. When Juan Juan's parent left, Oh, parents left. He was downhearted for a while. Uh, he's much happier now. It's like he had someone to keep his company. It didn't come in. Um, the date was changed last night, so it should come in Monday. But no, it did not come in. That's why we're playing this. Although, 
I say I would play this, but to be fair, even if the capture card did come in, I'd still play this game because it's a priority. Red Candle Games, they make good games, and people who do love Red Candle do, you know, appreciate the games. But I still feel like Red Candle Games is underrepresented. You know, more people need to play their games because they're very good. Devotion, I can understand. It was down for a long time and... You know, unless people decided to pirate it, they couldn't really get their hands on it. Um, but Detention, which is what got me into Red Candle Games, it's so good. More people need to play it. I think it's a great horror game. Because, you know, yes, it's horror. I definitely, I did well with its atmosphere but the lore the story oh so good anyway hey no one in the village had met an outsider at the time at first he seemed eccentric and strange turns out he's quite decent all right so uh i like how there's this whole ceremony coming around right and they're talking about me and juan juan and I know it's so that we, the players, you know, have a little more story. But realistically, they're going to be talking about more than, like, the newcomer and Juan Juan. Hey. In ancient times, our ancestors resided in the harsh wilderness, subjected to the bitter cold and the intrusion of beasts. The merciful souls couldn't bear to see human suffering, so ten souls descended from the sky. Wait, but the game's called Nine Souls. At first, people were ignorant and responded to the goodwill of the soul by wielding weapons. Those fools met God's wrath, their bones ground to ashes. Others, others was pious and reverent. These people got to follow the soul to a land outside the 99 heavens, a paradise where no one wanted for anything. The all-knowing and all-powerful souls bestowed humans with wisdom, teaching us about the truth of all things. Why are humans so blessed? It's because the soul, with all its supreme wisdom, saw divinity in human beings. Each time the peaches ripen for harvesting, the souls select several kind human from our land, and these lucky individuals get to become one of the souls. Um... Yeah, that sounds... more like... sacrifice to me. Is it? Or are they just... they're there and they get taken? We'll see. Be good children, as long as you follow the teachings and sincerely believe them, one day you'll get the chance to be summoned by the gods. Alright, I guess it's just random and for now we won't we won't say it's you know human sacrifice, but there's still time. Divine soul in heaven, I humbly ask that you heed my request. Hey man. What? What the hell are you looking at? Beat it. Okay, this guy. I'm looking at the two weird lumps on your head. Look at these people blindly going about their day. They actually think they're doing something meaningful. And what the fuck are you doing? You know, if he was working hard and these and like the others were just kind of loafing around. Sure. I could see where he's coming. He's just loafing around eating it, yeah, he's, he's just sitting there judging. And, you know, naturally, humans judge. We're just judgmental. It happens. Whatever. Some are more judgmental than others, but naturally, we just, it's, 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 it's human to judge. You know, he ain't doing shit. It's a ceremony, dude. You know, Live a little. Last year, my daughter was, cho was chosen to live with the gods. Uh. It must be joyful, but none of them come back to tell us. No one really knows. <laughs> All right. This guy's on. He's like, yeah, it's nice, but, you know, we never see them again. So maybe it's not as nice and joyful as we all think. All right. Hey, man, how are the fish? Big bro, thanks for your help today. It's an old custom of ours to wear this flower during the ceremony. Only the chosen ones get to wear it that day. 
He's sipping noodle broth, the bees. I, uh, I'll be honest, I thought he was eating a pepper, but <laughs> you're right. You know what? I should bug him. Also, noodle broth. Oh, I could go for some noodles and some broth. Uh, that's, I love, I love broth, love noodles, even like rice and broth with some chicken, had some of that, had some rice and chicken in miso, uh, the other day, oh, it was so good, it's garlic, ginger, uh, what else was in there, oh, and, um, like, green onions, it was great, oh, I ate, I ate a lot. Oh, so good. There are no written rules about it, but everyone knows that the bigger the flower, the more glory you receive. I, I, you know, I have a feeling Juan Juan is going to be one of the chosen children. I knew you cared about me and that you'd help me get the flower. Oh, so when he was playing all cutesy, like, haha, no, you don't have to get the flower for me. He was just bullshitting. It was always his plan that I was going to get it. Still, today was the last time we go walking together in the woods. Yeah, he mentioned the kind of ceremony. I really can't believe it was me that was chosen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. They, they like, you know, they gave you a little bit. So like, yep, children get chosen by the gods and they never, you never see them again. What a blessing. But our dear, beautiful Juan Juan is being taken from us. Is it because I always try to do good or because my parents put in a good word for me with the gods? Your parents left you, okay? They didn't do shit. You know, I'm not going to say anything because inwardly we're all thinking John Juan was abandoned. The gods have probably left us. Haha, uh -huh, big bro, you don't know either, huh? Forget it, let's go home. The ceremony is in just a few days and there's a lot to do before then. It does say that... Uh, Yi, our beloved hero, is vengeful, and maybe he wants revenge because Juan Juan was taken from him. Oh, the sound effect of our feet on the grass. It's so nice. Oh, look at us enjoying dinner together. Big bro, do you remember the first time we met? It was the day mom and dad were chosen by the gods. Everyone had been congratulating my family. Oh. Okay. The way the others were talking, they... I guess in a way, Juan Juan's parents did leave him. But, like, I thought it was one of those Juan Juan just woke up and mom and dad were gone. Just left him. All right. Uh, but then it was just me left at home and I was lonely. Still, being chosen by the gods is cause for celebration, so I couldn't let myself get upset. You know what? You can get upset. Because even if it is a blessing... Uh... It still sucks. I went to my secret hideaway and played the flute. I didn't count on seeing someone buried in the side of a mountain. You were pretty scary at first. You never spoke and always wore that hat of yours. But your culinary skills were incredible, and you'd tell me fascinating stories when I couldn't get to sleep. Oh, and also, you're so talented. You leap onto the roof and fix tiles like it's nothing, and your hunting skills are top-notch. Sometimes games try really hard to make you like a character, and sometimes you just don't. Juan Juan, they're trying to dig deep and give Juan Juan... <laughs> They're trying to give Juan Juan, and I love Juan Juan. They've done a good job of making me care and be upset that Juan Juan's gonna leave. <sighs> Why do you think I was chosen by the gods? I really wish you could come with me, big bro. I'm still a little scared of going to an unknown place all by myself. I don't know. Big bro, the worship ceremony is only a few days away. Are you sure you won't come? It's my big day and I really hope you can be there. Uh, 
I don't like either of these options. I... Wait. <sighs> I guess you'll be okay by yourself. Because, like... This one makes it more about Yi. And at least this one, it's like... It's still about Yi, but at least it's me letting him know that I believe that he'll be alright. You know, this one... At least it makes it seem like I'm placing my trust in Juan Juan. You'll be okay by yourself. That's true. You've never liked crowds. All right, then. It's not what I... Ch Whatever. If you change your mind, feel free to come along and be sure to say hi. On another note, are you sure you'll be okay after I'm gone? Uh, will you make sure to eat well? Remember, the rice is kept in the bucket and the fruit on the table must be eaten before it dries. Dried fruit's really good, actually. I think I prefer dried fruit to, um, fresh fruit. Night at Peach Blossom Village on the day of the ceremony. Oh. Ye old cell phones. Ye, it's me. Your runes must have pretty much healed by now. I just want to remind you that the time has come. The passageway only opens again in half a year. If you miss it this time, you'll be in dire straits. Make a move away. Those animals have kept you long enough. Those animals! Damn. But remember, be discreet. Don't let yourself be seen. Alright. Oh, it's this guy. Hey. What were you doing? Just... What were you doing sneaking about just now? Um. I'm just talking to myself, man. What's it to ya? Huh. Save it. I knew there was something fishy about you. Don't think that you can fool me just because you were the bamboo hat of yours. Who is this guy? He's so rude. A paradise in the sky? Gods. I don't know who made up the hogwash, but I know it's odd. Laugh all you want. You wait and see. I'll prove it to these morons. You know what? I was kind of shitting on him earlier. I like him, though. He's kind of funny. All right, that's not the way to go. Are you going to that stupid ceremony? We'll catch it if you keep on talking to me. All right, well... You know what, you have a good day. Drinking your noodle broth. Wow, firecrackers. This guy looks like he's... All right, now the music is a little loud. Alright, that's, that's actually a little better. Uh, Shen Nong has an overactive imagination. His isolation has sent him off the deep end. Okay, so I guess that guy that's shitting on everyone is Shen Nong. Who is this guy? He's so cool. This is pretty. I know I'm saying that a lot. Uh, trees have bloomed beautifully this year. Thank the God for protecting Peach Blossom Village. I know I say it a lot, but that's because it's just... It's... 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 It's just, it's... For all the bad shit that's gonna be going down, it's nice to have something pretty. The chosen ones get to go where the gods are, I'm jealous. I don't like it. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm here, Juan Juan. Excuse me. The Shaman of Peach Village hereby receives your decree. Hear ye, hear ye. In accord with the soul's orders, we humbly pay respect to the flying throne. Uh oh. I'll say it, it's a little creepy. 
Uh. I don't like this. I don't know what's happening, but I don't like it. Uh. What the fuck just happened? Did he get murdered? Oh my god. Juandron, don't do this. Where are they going? Do they not notice the limp bodies? It does. Jondron, no! Oh. Big bro, thank you for taking care of me for these past two years. Stop it. Stop it. I am going now. I do like this style. It did say, I didn't read it you know, when I was kind of giving the little synopsis. But like, if you go through in the Steam description, it'll talk about how there'll be like some manga, uh, some like cutscenes that are done manga style. It's, and I like that they do it when it's like very important, you know? It's nice, it, it, it adds a little something. Whoosh swoosh. Saved him. Aw. <gasps> it's a fox! Which I did mention he probably wears the hat. Oh god, please spare us from your wrath. He uh, probably wears the hat to like hide the fact that he's not a human. Big bro? What's going on? Uh, you know, you know what? Yeah, I'm not his big bro, but I am because clearly like he's helped me to out two years ago, probably nursed me back to health and I've helped to take care of him, you know, in. I don't know if it's to pay him back or what, but like he's cared for me and I've cared for him, so I must go now. You look after yourself. I don't want to say I'm not your big bro, because yeah, technically I'm not, but I am. We've taken care of each other. I've taken care of him as if he's my younger sibling, and he's taken care of and loved me as well. So I must, yeah, look after yourself, Juan Juan. Wait, I don't understand. What just happened? Why did you do that? To save you. Wait, where are you going, big bro? Big bro! At least no Juan Juan's okay for now. For now. Also, human body treatment field? It did say that there's some cyberpunk-esque stuff. Uh oh. Cool, okay. All right, so the left button is for deflecting. Nice. All right, so I take a hit of vape to heal from the likes of things. So I use my vape oil to heal. Oh, that's just part, wait. All right, this is the save point from the looks of it. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm not good at this.
Uh, I'll learn. I just got to get better with timing. Okay. I figured it out. What's this? Uh, cool. Let's see. A crimson hibiscus have has been soaked in the village's blood. The breeding facility regularly gathers up ape men body, uh, dismembers them, and sorts their body parts. Unusable resources such as flowers invariably get mixed in, uh, stuffed into bags along with ape man body parts. Juan Juan certainly wouldn't want to see his flower end up like this. Yeah, probably not. What's this? Nothing. Oh, what? Oh. There's two dudes. Wait. He didn't detonate it though. What's this? All right, I'm getting better. But you know, I'm still not great. God, okay, what's this way? Just a dude. Oh, so what's the other way then? Let's check it out. Hopefully not die. Okay. I'm not doing great. Oh. Okay. Oh, please. All right. Well, midair press. Okay, oh, kick glass. Then I guess as I fight, I uh, recover the foo charm. I'd like to recover some HP though. <laughs> I may die. Can I just run past them, I wonder? I'm not doing great. Hopefully there's some place to recover because, uh, oh, I was going to say. Oh, God. The origin of eight man. Uh, a scroll that chronicles the feeding methods and origins of Ape Man. Ape Man originate from a planet known as the Pale Blue Dot. Mention of this planet even before genetic modification. They possess basic linguistic abilities and are capable of abstract thought. They frequently demonstrate violent behavior at the same time due to their sociable nature when captured. Okay. I'm dying. Unusual activity detecting the breeding zone. Warning. Perimeter breach by living organism detected. Oh, what was his name? Shen Nong, I think? 
it's all happening. With that stone of yours, it looks like new Pangali will be a buzz with commotion for a while. Ye, why did you strike that early? It wasn't part of the plan. Uh, my little brother was in danger. That's why. Was it to save that human child? If he always breaks with protocol, it's going to be really tough to execute our plans. It's none of your business. Know your place. None of your beeswax. It was not an impulse. I know what my duties are. Don't worry. It just, if you had waited a bit longer before destroying the machine, I could have covered up the alarm. I hope you'll stick to the script more in the future. All right, so like I'm up here, but why is Shen Nong up here? I really assume that's who they're talking about when they're talking about the dude who was shit talking. But, you know, all things considered, I can understand why he was shit talking. He didn't seem to like the idea of the sacrifices either. Please let there be a heal area soon. Uh, okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was suffering. Oh, two dudes, come back. At some point, it talks about me getting a bow and arrow. So, uh, you know, hopefully soon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, uh-oh, it's a checkpoint. You set off an intrusion alarm. It's unlike the game, you must first take out the guards. Alright, one down. Come at me. Okay. Okay. Oh, I wasted it. God, deflect more. so bad at this game. I'll get better. Okay. Oh, see ya. Ye, my friend, we meet again. Do you remember what I once told you? The laws of heaven and earth re re repose in the bosom of this infinite land. In face of the quandary, you can return here to seek the Tao. Um. <laughs> I. I simply died. It's no big deal. From birth to death, all things follow the natural laws of the Tao. Ha! Your conception is a shallow after all. Indeed, yet, let's return to the point. Rage, fear, and death enshroud you. When you wield your sword, your heart must be as lucid as looking like as looking glass as calm as a placid lake. If you wish to polish your swordsmanship, there's a stone warrior up yonder. Why not start from the basic movements and see how you go? Yeah, my timing's just bad. Oh! Huh, okay, so... I forgot how it triggered to dodge, okay. Damn it. 
I'm using X to attack, but it's saying I'm not doing it. Okay. Timing's getting a bit better. All right, I'm back, hey. Find form now. Let's practice some more advanced combat skills. Uh, from posture while using charms, I see you've been instructed in Taoist combat techniques. Yes. Uh, I'm self-taught. Yep. I mean, not even that. The game's told me how to do shit, but yeah, self-taught. Anyhow, your conception of such techniques is flawed at its core. Know this, a soldier rife with conceit and pride is sure to meet failure. A strip of wood, if rigid, is sure to snap. Taoist combat skills stress the use of stillness to control motion, softness to overcome the unyielding. Let water be thy guide. Observe your foe and apply energy in precise bursts. Let it serve you. Let wind be thy mentor. Study your foe's traits and seize on any vulnerability to issue a lethal blow. Employ this stratagem to once more attack the stone warrior and see how you go. All right. Uh, all right. Oh, shit. Okay. What? Okay. I see. All right. At least I know it's my timing. You know, I I definitely can say, yep, I know how to deflect. It's just my timing shit. Especially when there's tons of enemies with different timing all gathered together. Uh, you've become adept at wielding universal energy. You are thoroughly prepared, I see. Do you wish to leave? I mean... I don't, but what else can I do? The town never does anything yet. Through it, everything is done. Oh, I missed the comma. If all things ultimately melt into nothingness, what use is there in excessive attachment? Become one with the flow of Tao and we shall meet again. Okay. I do like that. Eventually, once you die, it's like, all right, well, here's some training so you don't die. Okay, so I understand now. Do I have to do that thing again? I do like, though, that I don't get hurt just because I'm touching an enemy. Oh, I don't have to do it again. I was trying to, like, deflect. Okay. All right, so it seems like you can deflect that guy or parry or dodge, whatever. Uh, you just have... Or you have to, uh, run. Okay. I understand now. Uh, sword guy, I can parry. I don't know about bow guy. I might just need to jump past. I haven't tested. I should. Um, and that guy, I just do the... When he goes to dodge or whatever. I figured it out is what I'm saying. Oh, I see. Okay. 
Okay, also I can. I'm learning, I'm learning. Nice. Okay. Okay. Fight them all again. Too late. All right, but again, I'm learning. the way to go. I'm like pressing the button so I can... Like, run? I guess I have to wait a bit before he does it. If I die again, ugh, I don't know. Just be better. I do have two heals this time. So I'm doing a little better each time. Oh, a treasure chest. Oh. All right, last one was this. Oh, it ref nice. It refills my uh vape oil. learning what's this way all right uh let's not go there let's let's see if we can get the treasure this way
All right, I so hit hit run. I get it now. Oh, was it? Oh, we already slashed it open and there's just money. Okay. We're learning. I'm going to say it a lot because I am learning. Ooh. Oh, so the yellow things are level up. Okay, let's see. Increase defense and take less damage. Reduce internal damage caused by imprecise deflections. Uh, oh, um, less damage would actually be pretty nice. Ooh, I like the little skill tree. Avoid death one time and lethally injured. Ooh, okay. So that slowly fills up. Do they separate? Kind of, but not really. Okay. No. All right. What's this? Oh, are we before a boss, I wonder? Yep. All right, what's your deal? Oh, that's a big sword. Don't like it. Okay. Oh my god, you're so strong. He looks very mean. Yes, I agree. Oh, he. Oh my god. To learn to deflect better. I'm getting it now. Alrighty. Think about that. Can I go back and save? <laughs> All right, so sometimes he slash slash. Thank you. I, uh, so run and then deflect. And then sometimes he does it slash slash slash. But you never know. Um, figured it out. It's this way. Okay. Not too bad. Boss challenge the red centaur. You know what? It's a difficult game, but 
once you can figure out the timing, it's just really about getting better, honestly. Um, I liked it. I... <laughs> I, uh, I wondered if after the first boss, the demo would end. Um, I didn't. That was a good demo, though. That was a good demo. I liked it a lot. I liked it a lot. I liked the art style. I liked the sound effects. I liked the music. Um, it's a beautiful game. And it doesn't seem unfair once you can figure out what you can deflect and how exactly you can move past an enemy and you get good at it it feels very rewarding okay all right um pretty good did i play press my music to play no, it's still going. Pretty good. Um, I'm going to take a quick break and just get a little something to eat because I'm a little hungry after that demo. Um, so take a quick break, eat something, go to the bathroom, and then I'm going to get straight into Rustler. I really enjoyed the demo a lot. It was very, very good. I honestly, I should wish list it. Um, so when it comes out next year, quarter two, so sometime next year in the spring, add to wish list. Um, great demo for sure. A lot of fun. Controls pretty tight. Just learn. I do like on your first death, it's like, okay, well, yes, you might know the buttons, but here's a not tutorial, but it doesn't let you go until you've bettered yourself uh, everything, which is nice because I feel like when you start, it gives you the buttons but it throws so much at you. It's nice that it gives you a breather and slowly takes you through everything. I I, I think that's really nice um, that it just gives you a refresher on everything. But yes, go get some water. I'm going to go get some food, go to the bathroom, and I'll be back in a few minutes. 